friends welcome to my home studio my name is Kelly and on my channel I like to share planner videos art videos recipes crafts DIYs mixed media happy mail and hauls fountain pens and fountain pen ink and sometimes I will throw in a lifestyle video so if any of those genres sound appealing to you feel free to comment like share and subscribe and without further ado I am going to do some swatching in my Enigma Taroko shop Enigma um book and I am going to use my coloring swatch cards here and just go to town now I have 10 colors here we'll see how many I end up doing usually I only do five at a time but this is the remainder of all of my airbin ink that I do own so far <laughs> so let's just Go ahead and get started and see how many I end up doing. I hope that you like these videos and I highly recommend this ink. I really like it. I just finished up the other Urban ink, the all of the new ones that came out. And I got those quite some time ago now, um, but I hadn't swatched them or even tried them until I did my swatches. So I'm happy that I did that. Now these I've had for a much longer time and I like the ink. I especially love the perfumed line in the Urban, um, under the Urban umbrella. And I do have a couple of in here. This one, I can see it says perfume. And Rose Tenderies, I do believe, is also a perfumed ink. So, anyway, all right, let's just get going. And I'll catch you guys on the flip side.
how's it guys i am all done so i ended up doing all 10 of them so that is the entire jack arabin um fountain pen ink selection that i have so the first one is this one 1798 um the ribbon's coming off. <laughs> you know when you pull something and then it just keeps going and going and going? Uh-huh. That's what I just did. <laughs> anyway. Um, this is called Cayenne 1798 Lay Incree. And this is called Cayenneite. I'm just going to snip that off because if I don't, it's going to keep going and going on until there's no more string left. Um, Kyanite du Nepal, as it were. And it's a really pretty blue. And there you have it. It's this one right here. There you go. I think that's a nice view for you. It's really pretty. It has a deeper dark blue, as you can see, that comes out, and a silver shimmer. There you go. Camera picked that up nice right there in that shot. And then the card looks like this. The color ring card. Very pretty. Oh, and on the pipette side, it's showing a little bit of purple in it, too. This would be a cool chromatography color to do, I think. You know? Okay, next. Coraline de Egypte, 1798, Lay Cree. And I love this color. I remember I waited a very long time for that to come back in stock. Um, here it is. It has its orange, nice deep orange with brown undertones and silver undertones very very lovely there oh that's a good view perfection so that's nice and here is the swatch you can see the deep brown and the silver shimmer in it very very pretty this is a very popular color i think especially this time of year gorgeous very pretty. All right. Amnith. This is the 1798 Lay Cree Amnithes de la Ural. And this is a nice purple with brown undertones and silver. There you go. Shimmer. Ooh, look at that. It's picking it up. Okay, right. here is the color ring swatch. You can really see how deep that is. The brown in it and the silver. And the pipette version. Very nice. Okay. And then next we have 1670 Leighton Cree Emerald de Chavour. That one. And it's a nice emerald green, as the name indicates, with the gold. Some um, actual gold. And looks like black undertones. Or a deep, deep brown. Tippy top. Look at that. So, so pretty. All right, and then here is, wow, this watch card shows some nice, like, burgundy in with this um, green and some deep brown, I'm going to say. Look at that. It's picked up so nicely. You can really tell on this card.
And there it is. Let me pipe that side. Okay. And then next we have 1670 Stormy Gray. And I added a label to this. Um, I have my label maker downstairs, so I'm going to, and I have clear label with black print, so, but it's downstairs, so when it's, when I get around to it, um, I'll label this with that. I just put a sticky note on it <laughs> for now. It's a stormy gray. Second one down, and it's a nice gray with gold bronze undertone. This one. Beautiful, right? I feel like gray that's a good one here is the coloring card Let's see how deep that is very lovely oh yeah this picks up the nice gold undertone on this uh, pipe outside very pretty okay and then next we have 1670 caribou carub Karub Decipher, which is a nice brown. And it even looks like it has some burgundy undertones and some gold shimmer. Look at that. So lovely. Where is the pipette? This looks like it has green in it as well. Holy cow, that's gorgeous. This would be a good chromatography one, too. I want to try that. I really do. But time is of the essence. Yeah, you can really see the green come through on this side, too. Pipette version. Wow. If you like brown, that's a nice one. Really nice. Okay, next we have the 1670 Blue Ocean here. And it has gold shimmer in it. It's a nice deep blue. And here is the swatch card. Yeah, very nice. Even some burgundy on this one, too. You can tell here at the bottom. Very, very nice. Pipe outside. I really like doing the different versions of swatches because that's why I'm interested in doing it on the um, coffee filter with the chromatography because... It'll show different things and different colors in the, uh, in the backdrop of it. All right. And Cree Pour Stylo at Usage Courant Pearl Noir. So it's a nice black. This one. I think it's always good to have a nice black color. In your collection from different lines. Look how pretty that is. Very nice. Little silver in it. Like that side. Okay, and then we have um, Incree Violet Parfum Violet. This is one of my favorites of all time. <laughs> this is a nice scented perfumed ink. It's very pretty. And this bottle, as well as this bottle, has a little lip right here in the front. So you can actually put your fountain pen right there. See that? Isn't that nice? So this is one of my tippy top favorites. It's so beautiful. This one. My favorite color is lavender, so I'm partial to this color. Very beautiful purple. Little silver in it. 
unless that's the oil from the perfume. Yeah, I think that's just the oil. Never mind. Scratch the silver part. Just a nice, deep violet color. All right, and last but not least, I have the Incree Rose Tenderies. Now, when I bought this, I didn't pay attention, and this is only 10 mLs, this teeny tiny bottle. And this is another one of my all-time favorites from this line. Um, I just didn't pay attention, but it's serving me well, and I still have a lot left, so. Incree Rose Tenderies. That's the last one there at the bottom. Very, very beautiful baby pink. Very sophisticated, I think. Love that color. And here is the pipette. This is one of my most top favorite pinks of all time. Out of all the lines, even. And that's saying something. It's very beautiful. So if you like pink, this is a gorgeous one. Okay, so I did do, so, okay, so I did do all 10, and I'm glad I did. I'm already on my second swatch book in my little... Traveler's Company business card holder, or it's called a card file, I believe. Now, this is going to be quite difficult because off, right off the bat, I love these two, okay? But we're doing 10. Now, if I was going to pick from just this row, it would be this one, which is the Cornelian Daisy. And if I was going to pick my tippy top from this one, this is a close... These three are close, so... I would pick Rose Tenderies, though. If I could only have one out of this row, it would be the Rose Tenderies. Because it's so, so pretty. Now, if I was on a deserted island, <laughs> I could only have one out of, one ink at choice out of all ten. Oh, my goodness. Just because it's so interesting. I would say it's a toss-up between these two. Um, that is a toughie. I would go with the Rose Tenderies. But this is quite lovely. The um, Kerub de Cipher. Because of the green and the brown. It's just, it's like a forest. You know what I mean? It's like the color of a tree, right? The trunk brown and the leaves are green usually well in certain times of the year and some trees stay that way all the time but it's just such a really interesting color so i don't know the pink is so pretty the rose tendery so if it was out of all of them i uh, mm, pink the rose tenderies. okay i said it guys that is everything i hope you guys enjoyed this kind of video i didn't want to bore you that's why i just speed it up because it takes me a couple hours to do it this so um you know what's your favorite color either out of all 10 just do the hard pick which one would be your tippy top all-time favorite if you were stuck on a desert island and you can only have one which one would it be i bet you um most people would say this one, the Carib Day Cipher, but let me know if you care to share. And that, my friends, is all in the entirety of this swatch haul. So, if you liked what you saw, feel free to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I wish you folks all a very lovely day. Peace out.